say that I'm absolutely delighted to be here and I'm thrilled to see all the wonderful work which Johnny and the Foundation is doing. Really absolutely wonderful, tremendous. In the Jewish religion, many of our biblical heroes have been given special titles. For example, Moses, Moshe in Hebrew, is known as Moshe Rabbeinu, is known as Moses our teacher. Why? Because Moses was the one who taught Torah, he taught about our traditions to the nation back in Mount Sinai all those very many years ago. There are many other examples of what this afternoon I'd like to highlight Joseph. Hebrew, his name was Yosef. And he's known as Yosef HaTzadik. He's known as Joseph, the righteous one. But why? Why is he, why is Joseph the one singled out for being righteous? Weren't there other biblical characters who were righteous too? Our sages offer a number of approaches, and I'd like to share one with you this afternoon. In chapter 41 of Genesis, it was the Torah reading last Shabbat in synagogues all over the world. Joseph was released from prison. He was standing before Pharaoh. He was asked to interpret the dreams of Pharaoh. So he just precisely that. He explains to Pharaoh that his <coughs> dreams mean that Egypt is going to have seven years of plenty, followed by seven years of famine. And then he does something crazy. He goes on to tell Pharaoh how to run his country. During the seven years of plenty, you have to store for the seven years of famine. He starts telling Pharaoh what his agricultural policy should be. It's mad. Why was he offering unsolicited advice to the most powerful man in the world? He could have been put straight back in prison. He could have got himself killed. What was he doing? What was he thinking? The answer is that Joseph at that moment knew, because he was a prophet, he knew that the entire nation of Egypt was in trouble. He knew that the people were going to starve, and he knew that there was going to be devastation, and that his advice to Pharaoh would be of critical importance. He totally believed in what he was doing, to the extent that various concerns about upsetting Pharaoh were put to the side. And so therefore, because Joseph was willing to put his head above the parapet, so to speak, in order to save other human beings from a different nation, for this reason, he is known until this day as someone who was righteous. And the same could be said for our silent heroes that we are honouring today. They too, just like Yosef Atzati, just like Joseph the righteous one, they risked their lives and the lives of their families when they saw other human beings from a different faith who desperately needed their help and people who had no one else to turn to. They knew that their input would be critical, <coughs> so they just did what they had to do, and we've heard many examples of that this afternoon. For this, they are righteous, and for this, we will always be eternally grateful. Thank you. Thank you.